some good news coming in November. Amen. 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 Spoke to a, a senator yesterday. Amen. Yeah. I didn't speak to him. I spoke to his uh, uh, secretary. Amen. And uh, they said, well, as soon as the package comes out, let them know. Yeah. Right. See if they can do a little pushing. God said he would make your enemies your footstool. Yes, See, you ain't got to be saved That's right. to bless the church of God. That's right, man. Amen. If God tell you, bless the church, you're going to bless the church. Because right. you ain't got nothing, nothing to do with it. Amen. It's God's will. That's right. And his will will be done on earth yes. as well as in heaven. Yes. Amen. 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 So again, church, uh, I, I thank God for just being a part Amen. of the sanctified church. Amen. And I will not entertain any negative thoughts. Amen. I want everyone to go to heaven with me. Amen. But if you don't want to go, I'm going anyhow. Amen. If you're upset, I'm sorry. Right. I'm happy. Right. I, I can't be upset. I promise you yeah. I won't leave you for yes, sake. That, that's good enough for me. Yeah. I ought to be good enough for you if you yeah. believe it. All right. Amen. But faith is based on belief. Yes. Yes. All right, Lord, I believe. Amen. That's right. That's right. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. Then get happy. Yes. Right. Amen. Amen. Now we have some questions before we get uh, our subject tonight is the God here. Amen. And we're going to bring out clearly and prove beyond any doubt that the Jesus only church is the only true church of God. Yes. We're going to prove that the Trinity doctrine, and let me just say this. The hour is late, and it's, it's, it's a time yes, out yes. for uh, ring around the rosy. That's right. Amen. Those of you who are going to a Trinitarian church, you're in a false church. Yes. Amen. Those of you who baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, yes. you're in a false church. That's right. And if the trumpet sounds tonight, and you are attending a false church and it denied the true faith, you go into the lake of fire forever. That's, right. That's the word of God. And we're in the dispensation of grace, which is the mercy of God and the space of God for all of who are not yet in the fold to repent and come in to true holiness. Come out of darkness into the marvelous light yes. that you might be saved. And it's all up to the individual. If you've got humility of heart, and I certainly hope that you pay attention to this teaching tonight, and you will know for certainty that according to the scripture, now we back up everything with the word of God. Amen. 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 I don't mean to my own understanding, but I back up everything I say with scripture. And I think I shared Sunday a uh, whole lot of uh, preachers might rail against me. That's all right, Father. But but you can't you you, you can't condemn my message. That's right. Amen. I'm going to condemn the message from God because yeah. I back up everything again with Hallelujah. the scripture. Yes. Right. Amen. So uh, again, church, let's be confident in our own walk with the Lord. Yes. And if you're confident, you don't let depressive moments yes. come to snatch away okay. your faith. Amen. Never be depressed. Don't wake up depressed. Amen. Don't get in your car depressed. No, got a job that you don't yes. like, all you got to do is keep praying. Amen. Yes. And then get happy going to the work. Yes. You yes. The job you don't like. Why? Because I'm getting happy because I know God getting ready to do Hallelujah. something Amen. about this job. Yes. Do you know he said he tore down kingdoms yes. for their sake? Yes. Whose sake? Our the children's sake. Yes. And we are the children today. We are the Hebrew children today. And he will tear down a government also. structure Hallelujah. for his people. Yes. Don't tell me he won't do it because he will. Praise God. Now, I see him working. Oh, hallelujah. I see him opening up doors right now. Amen. I haven't reached the open door yet, but I see the doors open. Right. And we're walking toward it. Right. Get there sometime in November. Right. I'm believing God. Right. I believe. He said so. Amen. If he said so, I believe it. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now, uh, again, the spirit of the Antichrist, before I get to my main subject, I want to bring this out. The spirit of the Antichrist is here. And this is why I keep teaching you about 
the importance of being a separated church yeah. and not being influenced by what you see over television Amen. or hear over the gospel radio stations. Amen. You've got to make up your mind that you're going to follow the word of God according to that which is brought forth in right division mm -hmm. and proper interpretation. Hallelujah. And you're going to hold steadfast to what you have been taught, knowing who taught you. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, know them that labor among you. Yes. For they watch for your soul. So let's keep that in mind. And uh, I want to kind of go to this, uh, what I just received tonight. Uh, it deals with a person, uh, President Obama, chose to be the school czar. Czar means he's over all of the uh, federal school programs. Amen. Uh, his name is Kevin Jennings. Yeah. And it says here, this is from the Washington Times, a teacher was told by a 15-year-old high school sophomore that he was having homosexual sex with an older man and the very least statutory rape occurred. Fox News reported that the teacher violated a state law requiring that he report the abuse. The former teacher, Kevin Jennings, now this is the man President Obama, appointed safe school czar. <laughs> it's getting hard to keep track of all of the president's uh, uh, prob problematic appointments. Amen. Clearly the process for vetting White House employees has broken down. In this one case in which Mr. Jennings had a real chance to protect a young boy from a sexual predator, he not only failed to do that, which was of the law required, but actually encouraged the relationship. Mm -hmm. I believe it goes on to say he even told the boy to make sure he used a condom. 15-year-old boy in a homosexual relationship. Now, this is a homosexual. I've told you, and, and y'all seem to think I'm just, I'm just, oh, he's just bashing homosexuality, just bashing and bashing. I am doing that. Right. But I'm doing it for a reason. I told you that what the homosexual lesbian agenda is, yes. is to destroy the family structure and destroy the Christian principles. Yes. This is why you see them getting married in a church. Yes. It's not that they believe anything about religion. They'd be afraid to do what they do if they yes. believed in the religion. Yes. Praise God. Yes. But what they're doing, they're trying to show you the very uh, shame mm -hmm. of the church that they're bringing against the church and against the God of glory by defying God and saying, yes, I'm a lesbian, I'm a homosexual, but I'm going to get married right in your church. And what you going to do about it? Mm. This is exactly what they're doing. Yeah. They're tearing down the moral structure of the Christian church yeah. and bringing down the family value system God ordained from the very beginning. Right. Yeah. I told you, Obama, yeah. and I, I prayed for him when he was right. running for president. Yes. Oh, you don't know how I prayed for him. I watched him election all night. Mm -hmm. Didn't vote. Amen. But I was praying for him. Amen. Want him to win. Badly. Hallelujah. But when I found out, after he got into office, the course he was taking that was away from God and away from the Bible, then I turned away from him. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Praise God. Amen. 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 I want you to understand the reason why Amen. we're going this way. Amen. He is the world leader. Yeah. Yeah. The President of the United States is automatically the world leader. If the world leader is influenced by the spirit of the Antichrist, whether he knows it or whether he don't know it, yes. we still got to warn the people. That's right. And we got to cry out and stand up. When you see appointments like this, mm -hmm. and when you see appointments like a Justice Sotomayor yes. to the Supreme Court, right. who is an avowed uh, advocate for abortion, mm -hmm. you see the trend in which he's going. Mm -hmm. Yes. He is slowly trying to systematically formulate the plan of the Antichrist to tear down everything that God established for the church and for the foundation of family structure. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, then you have nothing of a moral code for the world to stand on. Yes. Amen. This is why, if you notice, they took, uh, uh, at, what's her name, Abdul, uh, off of that, that Paul Abdul. number one, yeah. TV program. Yes. Yeah. What's it called? American Idol. American Idol. Yeah. Everybody watch it but me. I don't watch but it uh, 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 <laughs> they took the chief uh, 